Hey guys, what's up? It's WW Productions here and welcome to my channel. Today with another amazing tutorial for you guys, for all of you gamers out there. This is an animated face cam tutorial uh, and we did a static version of this in, in the previous video. If you haven't checked that out, please go and check that out. And uh, I do not know who this guy is, but his dance moves are awesome. So uh, please leave a like and thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and let's get straight to the video. So hey guys, if you have followed the previous video, then uh, uh, your design is going to look like something like this. And your layer section is going to look something like this, where this is the right design, this is the left design, and um, this is the face cam. So uh, before moving into After Effects, we first have to simplify these layers. These layers. So just right click over here and right, right design. And uh, on this, just double click over here and uh, right left design and uh, just uh, go ahead and hold down shift and select both of these layers right click and select merge layers this will be our face cam layer so just write face cam and next you can just go ahead and delete this uh, layer which is the background this is the canvas and don't delete this uh, uh, gradient background right now right yet we are going to delete this in after effects so once we have this simplified we can just uh, go ahead and uh, move into after effects we will also animate this same design in photoshop because uh, for those of you who are comfortable with after effects uh, we will go into after effects and for those of you who are comfortable with photoshop and who do not have after effects then we will animate this in photoshop so at the end of the video you can see that uh, we will also animate this same in uh, uh, photoshop as well and we will have the same effect uh, there will be no difference in the animation so before moving into after effects uh, we have to just uh, save this file so go ahead and file and click save from over here this will save the file and we can now export it in after effects okay so after moving into after effects we are going to uh, select composition from over here and select new composition you can write it animated face cam and uh, uh, keep these settings same uh, 60 frame rate and uh, this will be a 5 second animation so it's 5 seconds keep the background dark and then just hit ok after this uh, you are going to just right click over here in this blank space and select import file select your file and make sure that this is a composition retained layer sizes and editable layer styles So after that uh, we have this our file over here and then we are going to just double click this icon we are going to have this face cam over here so the first thing that we are going to do is select this right design and select P on your keyboard to open position and just click the stopwatch icon over here and create a keyframe over here then just go to two seconds and then move move this downwards while at the same time pressing shift and bring this down uh, to the edge of the face cam it will also create a, a keyframe over here then we are going to go to 4 seconds and then just go ahead and copy this key first keyframe control C and press control V so this will bring it back to the original position so if you if you go ahead and see this in animation then it's going to look something like this moving downwards for once it has uh, completely rendered out so uh, let's move ahead and to this next design we're going to do the same with this go ahead and uh, click this left design select P on your keyboard to open position keyframe this and from over here you can select the keyframe of the first one you will jump to this one and just go ahead and drag this upwards while at the same time holding down shift to the edge of this face cam and then just go ahead and click once again you will jump to the last keyframe copy this keyframe by pressing ctrl c and pressing ctrl v at the same time make sure that your uh, picker is over here and if you can see this will be animated now 
once it has completely rendered out it, it is going to look uh, like a really cool animation so i'm just going to let this render out so now you can see that this is being animated so another important step is that you just go ahead and select all of these keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. This will ease out the animation a little bit. And you can just go ahead or at around 430 frames or and you can just uh, press N on your keyboard. This will end the animation over here. So this is going to uh, first of all render out and uh, this is going to look really nice. So you can uh, just uh, see that this is being animated now. Now in order to export this you are just going to go over here in file and so but first before that uh, just go ahead and uh, hide this layer as well as press uh, uh, transpar transparency button over here toggle transparency grid. Now this is going to look as your face cam because uh, this will be a transparent background so we are going to export it as, as an alpha channel. Go ahead and file, export, add to render queue. So uh, in these settings we will click on lossless. Select the format as QuickTime. First you need to uh, install this QuickTime. If you do not see this option then you need to install QuickTime. It's a very uh, free software. So you can get this online. Uh, click over here RGB plus alpha. This is important because uh, this is an uh, it's a transparent background face cam. We do not need the audio. Just go ahead and select OK. And uh, just select your place where you want this. And th then just click render. So we are back in Photoshop and uh, we will animate this design now using Photoshop. So just go over here in window and select timeline from over here. Uh, you will have this option and make sure that it's create video timeline. Select this button over here and uh, now just go over here in this option. Select position. Select this position and uh, just click this position keyframe over here. So go into 2 seconds which is over here and uh, just move this right design downwards over here and uh, then just go to 4 seconds over here and then move this design upwards by, while holding down shift. So we will see this animate as well by pressing space bar you can see this animation once it's uh, rendered out completely. So you can see this easily. Now we are going to do the same step with this left design. So open this and select. Uh, go to the beginning and select position. And then just go to 2 seconds over here. And then just go over here and move this upwards. After that go over here in 4 seconds. And then move this downwards while at the same time holding shift to the end. So uh, let's see uh, that this will be animated now. So you can see this. And uh, in order to bring this uh, end the animation uh, a little early we can just go over here and drag this backwards. This face cam as well. 
this uh, this is not important because we are going to uh, not see it so let's see our animation so this is our animation it's good and uh, you can just go ahead and just delete this layer so you will you, this will be your final animation and you are just going to export this um, as a video so in order to render this uh, face cam you need to go and click this button over here which is uh, which will render your video and you can have these options like this go ahead and select quick time because this will select your MOV file which will be transparent and this is a important step alpha channel uh, because this is a face cam so we need an alpha channel which is the transparency uh, at the back end so we are going to select the folder and uh, after selecting the folder you can just uh, export this and uh, you can just go ahead and render this so after rendering this out your face cam is going to look something like this and it's a really simple animation just to look uh, your stream just so you can make your stream look really cool and animated so so this is a really fun stuff and uh, do try this and uh, tell me in your comments uh, what you think of this design as well as this animation uh, was it easy um, so I, and I'll also uh, upload more videos if you want uh, so please comment like and share and please subscribe to my channel as well so I will see you in the, see you in the next video uh, thanks so much for watching my video.